Hey everybody, so Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl is finally here, and although I have yet to pick up my copy, some people do have the game, and that means people have also begun data mining the game to see what they can find in the files. Pretty major definitive leak stuff here, since it's a data mine, it's from the game files, so fair warning, potential spoilers ahead, but I figure that's what you're here for anyway. Alright, so first off, before we get to the data mine leak stuff, the game is out and there's plenty of footage online now to really see the game in action, so feel free to look that stuff up and check it out for yourself. We got a look at the menus for the game, and I'm actually shocked that some have unique renders of the characters for a lot of the menu icons. It's really great looking. Even some renders from some of the background characters in the game, not just the playable fighters. It's all very, very cool. Although we do not have voice lines yet in the game, they do have these cool dialogue windows with great references to the characters and the shows, so check those out as well. Also, we finally got Nigel Thornberry's artwork for the box art style game main screen. Not sure why he wasn't here before, but oh well, there it is. And of course, we now know for sure the starting game's roster. It was, in fact, the Toff League. Just a rough estimate, but from the look of it, you could fit about 12 more fighters here. So we know two more are coming, and then more as legitimate DLC down the road. So potentially 10 DLC characters, maybe? We will see. All right, so with this starting roster, the Toph leak is totally confirmed real, and Kel's talk about quickly photoshopping Toph because they thought Ren and Stimpy would be separate fighters was totally bogus. Our guess for the Toph leak's remaining two fighters, the two fighters scribbled out here, were Garfield and Shredder. Shredder because of the placement after the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle characters, and because a tiny hint of the character's shoes are slightly visible. And those shoes in the wide stance look like they could fit for Shredder. Plus, the character's name has to be relatively short, like Shredder. And Garfield was the guess at the last fighter mostly due to the Garfield leak, which the other character renders seem to line up perfectly for ever since we got Ren and Stimpy revealed. Well, Rep, one of the mods over on the official Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl Discord channel, recently had this to say regarding leaks. I realized I put an inverted target on my back by deconfirming specific leaks on the spot. And then also said, I've only stretched the truth about one leak. All the others I've either discounted entirely or didn't address. My hope is that no more actual leaks happen so I can continue to dunk on leaks because that's a lot more fun. Well, now that the game is in the hands of the public, data miners have checked out the files. So we can confirm our suspicions about these last two mystery characters, whether or not it's correct. Here's what the data miners have found regarding the two mystery characters. There are in fact files with an image of Garfield in the game and an image of Shredder. These are just images and not renders of the characters, but they are in the game's files, probably as placeholders. I don't know, I'm no data miner or even game design expert. Maybe they use them as references even. I don't know, but they are in the game files. And both of these characters seem to have internal code names, so likely they are in fact our last two fighters. Garfield's code name is Orb and Shredder's is Cheese. Clever. And then after these character images were discovered in the files, Rep wrote this. Silver lining of all this is that the only stuff people will find is content that was explicitly meant for base game. All proper DLC stuff is very much designated for a separate area slash branch and isn't slated to start until dot 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 now basically. So if there are any doubts that these images don't confirm the last two characters, what Rep said pretty much confirms to me these two have been discovered and the cat is out of the bag. Garfield's out of the bag. Garfield's stage is also in the game's files and it looks like this. Seems to be some kind of dream stage, I'm guessing. Garfield does do a lot of sleeping after all. Also found in the game files are apparently a few alternate unused costume textures for a few of the fighters. Helga, Reptar, and Sandy specifically. So maybe alt costumes could happen in the future. Looks like they were sort of planning them at one point. As it stands right now, the characters don't even change a different shade of color when multiple people choose the same fighter. And that can get very confusing very quickly when playing mirror matches or Dittos, or whatever Nick's fighting game, same fighter against same fighter is going to be called. Maybe we should call them Arnie's after Arnold's weird cousin. Anyway, another really interesting thing found in the game files is a long list of unused audio clips for a ton of characters, many of which are not playable or even in the game at all in any form. These seem to be announcer tracks for when the character could be selected on the roster. Here's the full list of all the names of non-playable characters that also have audio files from the announcer in the game. A few of these are alternate audio for characters that are playable, such as Ren and Stimpy, but they have announcement files for them being announced separately. Or for instance, there's an announcement for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles all at once as if they were one character altogether. The only one of these names I wasn't sure of at first glance was Jet, but I believe it's likely referring to Jet Fusion from Jimmy Neutron. I don't know of any other Jet characters from Nickelodeon shows, but correct me if you think it's referring to someone else. I honestly don't know. 
Now, before you get really excited about this gigantic list of characters and how they could be a ton of DLC or something, here's what Rep had to say about these unused announcer files. I'm pretty sure the announcer voice lines were handled like Smash, where they were given a ton of names to cover all feasible bases. Those lines in full aren't put into the Unity project itself, only the relevant ones for characters actually playable slash functional. There's an entirely separate working area for WIP and workspace files detached from Unity in full. And do not give those voice lines much thought. They're just covering bases and not be all end all confirmations of what can and cannot happen. I don't even know why the extraneous ones are in the project in the first place. But hey, there's free meme material for y'all. So the way Super Smash Brothers records the character announcement tracks is to simply record a huge list of characters, some of them real, some of them fake, some of the characters will get in the game, some won't, all at once so not even the voice actor for the announcer in Smash knows who will really be on the roster in the end. Likely these audio files were recorded in that same manner, and then they were simply all left in the game for some reason. So no, I don't think this full list of characters is like the DLC we should expect or anything close to that. Anyway, here's the unused audio tracks in action for these characters. Angelica Pickles, Avatar Roku, Barnacle Boy, Bebop, Casey Jones, Chucky Finster, Cindy Vortex, Dark Danny, Donatello, Donnie Thornberry, Eliza Thornberry, Filbert, Foot Clan, Garfield, Gurr, Uncle Iroh, Jet, Jimmy Neutron, Katara, King Boomy, Krang, Mermaid Man, Metalhead, Mr. Krabs, Plankton, Raphael, Ren Hoek, Rocco, Rocksteady, Shredder, Skulker, Soka, Splinter, Squidward Tentacles, Susie Carmichael, Tommy Pickles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Vlad Plasmius, Prince Zuko, Okay, so while this is likely just leftover data from when they had the announcer record a long list of possible characters, I do think it's worth noting the characters on this list that are from series we don't have in the game yet, as it's very likely those series were at least on the developers' minds when they were making the roster, and they probably had some inclination to try and add a fighter from those series at some point in development if they wound up on this list. There are only three series on here that don't have any fighters in the game right now, and only two series if we don't count Garfield, as we basically know he'll be one of our missing two characters, him and Shredder. The other two Nickelodeon series on this list that have some character names but got no playable fighters in the game yet are Jimmy Neutron and Rocco's Modern Life. I'd say that makes both those series prime candidates to get a DLC fighter eventually down the line. So I'd put my bets on us getting a Jimmy Neutron and Rocco rep among the DLC characters. Over on Twitter, at Dylan Dylas wrote, Hey Papaginos, I can't help but notice that none of the stages have any major decom firms, with who they have in the background. No Arnold walking around in Helga's stage, no Ickus or Crumb appearing in Oblina's stage, the babies don't appear in Reptar's stage, not even a single big Spongebob character walking around in any of the Spongebob stages. I wonder if this is potentially to keep the options open to DLC if the game does well. Thoughts? So looking at the stages and which characters end up on the background making cameos, it does seem that generally they only used minor characters for the stage cameos. Characters that likely wouldn't be considered for a playable spot at any point in the future for DLC. For instance, we have Mondo Gecko in the sewer stage and not like Raph or Don. Or how the Rugrat babies aren't in the background of Reptire stage. Seems these types of characters might have been left out on purpose in case the devs decide to make any of them DLC characters. That's just a theory though, of course, but it's pretty interesting. All right, so there we go. A very intriguing data mine. Our two characters that just missed the cut for base game are basically confirmed to be Garfield and Shredder. We were right. So expect to see them added to the game in the near future. While the voice lines in the game probably aren't leaked characters, they do give us a look at what series might have nearly made it into the game, or at least were on the developers' minds. So again, Jimmy Neutron and Rocco getting a spot in future DLC seems very, very likely to me. 
And finally, with the game releasing today, i just like to say I strongly suggest you go out and pick it up and support this game as best you can. Whatever state the game is at launch, the devs seem determined to use the DLC and the additional time and budget they've been given to polish this game and make it something truly special in the end. So if you want this to one day be the Nickelodeon platform fighter of your dreams, go out and buy a copy and support this game with sales. All right, well, that's everything I wanted to talk about in this video. If you guys have any thoughts or comments about anything I talked about, leave them below. Remember to like the video, leave a comment in the section below, and subscribe to Papa Gino's a Twitter, a Patreon, a Discord.